Welcome back to the ZOS Introduction Series. The objective of this video is to explain why ZOS is considered the IBM Z mainframe flagship operating system. The distinctive strengths of ZOS are many. ZOS technology genetics are from the operating system in the original IBM mainframe with decades of technology advancements. The mainframe hardware and ZOS operating system grew up together and are highly complementary for reliability, availability, serviceability, scalability, security, and performance. What ZOS does better than any other operating system includes handling very large and diverse workloads, unparalleled security ranking by the NATO country's common criteria standards, highest availability clustering technology, geographically dispersed parallel sysplex, decades worth of RAS scalability security advancements. And today's applications will run in future releases of this operating system because of IBM's commitment to investment protection and continuing compatibility. Today's modern user interfaces, such as the Eclipse-based integrated development environments, can make ZOS application development possible with very little to no knowledge about ZOS. However, other categories of ZOS job roles exist that the charts refer to as development support and production support. These support job roles involve customizing the environment for application developers and ensuring the applications are available. The ZOS skill requirements for the development support job roles and production support job roles are high. The Eclipse-based integrated development environments enable applications developers to become productive as programmers very quickly on ZOS. Numerous ZOS IDEs exist, and IBM Developer for Z, IDZ, will be reviewed in a later video in this series. Mainframe application developers for the past did require more ZOS experience to use the traditional software components. In fact, some organizations continue to require the application developers to be capable of using the traditional software components. Job control language, commonly called JCL for short, is another fundamental skill for you to be considered an experienced ZOS technician. However, IDEs and system storage management software has significantly reduced mainframe application developers' need to be proficient with JCL. The support roles do require a higher level of ZOS experience. As an example, the ZOS system operations staff would be expected to have above average knowledge about ZOS components, the ZOS message format, and ZOS commands. Components, message format, and commands are presented in the ZOS introduction video series. Other support roles require a varying level of ZOS experience. Many support roles specialize in a specific area of responsibility, while a system programmer should have a skill level capable of assisting all other support roles. The technical support staff in large enterprises specialize to become extremely proficient in their areas of responsibility to provide the highest quality support for enterprises' business critical services and data. The ZOS introduction video series includes exposure to the fundamental ZOS system basics required for all these support roles in preparation to advance personal skill level in any of these specialty areas. The objective of the ZOS introduction video series is to provide above average familiarity with the ZOS fundamentals required by ZOS technical support staff as well as application developers with a desire to understand more about the environment 
hosting their program logic. The chart shows a summary of a few of basic ZOS skills included in the ZOS introduction video series. In summary, ZOS is considered the IBM Z mainframe flagship operating system for a variety of reasons that include capabilities unavailable to other operating systems, in addition to having the genetics of the original IBM Z operating system with investment protection for critical business applications that have been improved over decades. Thank you for your time.